I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on lowest common multiples and greatest common factors. This is a very common topic in middle school. However, there are a few challenging questions which we could look into. In this particular video, we'll see how to find the numbers when LCM and GCF is given to us. We'll also work with how to find three numbers when LCM and GCF is given to us. So basically we are going to do reverse calculation and therefore this video becomes extremely important. I hope you understand the concept. So we'll actually consider the topic in details. It might take about 30 minutes. We'll look into how to relate LCM and GCF with the numbers and how do we find GCF and LCM by different methods? You have learned the method to find LCM and GCF by factoring, by prime factorization, and by Venn diagrams. We'll actually revisit all the three with just one example each. And then we'll come to our main question, and that is, how do we find LCM and GCF for three numbers using Venn diagram? And then the reverse calculation ones, one to find the two numbers for which we have already been given LCM and GCF and the other one you need to find three numbers from GCF and LCM. We'll also have a bonus question. This is a quick reminder of our definitions. LCM is a term used for lowest common multiple, GCF greatest common factor, also highest common factor HCF. Prime factors means the factors which have only two factors, one and the number itself, prime factorization is write a number as a product of prime numbers. So let's look into these things one by one and then we'll begin with the main question. We need to list factors and multiples to find GCF and LCM. So the question here is, find GCF and LCM of 12 and 15. So what do you normally do? Normally, we'll write all the factors of 12 and all the factors of 15, and then we'll compare them, right? Now, best way to write the factors is to follow a rainbow. So for example, one times 12, you know, is 12, and then two times six is 12, and we know three times four is 12. So that means these are the factors of 12. Similarly for 5, 15, 1 times 15 is 15, and we know 3 times 5 is also 15. These are the only factors for 15. Now, we need to identify the common factors. So the common factors are definitely 1 is a common factor, and in this case, 3 is a common factor, correct? And no other common factor. So we can now list uh, the common factors, and we can say that the common factors are 1 and 3. And amongst this, which is the greatest common factor? So from here, we can write greatest common factor is what? 3, right? Is 3. So that is the greatest common factor. Sometimes we say it is highest common. Both terms are used, correct? Okay, so we got this answer very easily by writing all the factors. However, remember, it is not easy to list all the factors. So, so there is a restriction here, and that is, let's remember the difficulty. So difficulty here is, listing all factors, right? That is very difficult. If I especially give you a big number, let's say 1 to 46, then it will take hours to match the numbers, right? With something like that. 
Okay, so we definitely need another process. Now the second part here is to find the least common multiple. So how do we find LCM, which is a multiple? Now multiples are numbers which are bigger. So what we do here is we go for multiples. So let me write down the multiples now. Extend this list. So amongst multiples of 12, we begin with 12 itself. 12 times 1 is 12. 15 times 1 is 15. Then times 2 is 24. Times 3, 36. You can add the numbers, right? 48, 60, and so on. As far as 15 multiples are concerned, after 15, you have 30, and then you have 45, and you get 60. So you do get a common multiple here, which is 60. And so we have the least common multiple as 60 itself. So we did get the answer this time. However, it is not easy to find the answer for LCM using this particular method. So we need to learn a new method. Prime factorization is a better method to do. So this time we'll take up another example and this example is find GCF and LCM of 24 and 36 with the help of prime factorization. So this is the other method which most of you know. Here is kind of summary of this. So we'll begin with finding prime factors of 24. So that is basically keep dividing 24 by numbers you can. For example, you can divide by 2. 2 times 12 is 24. Again, prime number 2. You get 6 and again prime number 3 and 2. Right. I could have written 2 there. So we can write 24 as equal to 2. There are three 2s. Right. So you could write this as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or you could also write this as 2 cubed times 3. These three Twos have been written in the power form. Now let's take the other number, which is 16. So as far as 16 is concerned, you could say 2 times 8, and then it is 2 times 4, and then it is 2 times 2. So we could write 16 as 2 to the power of 4. And now from here, it is much simpler to find the greatest common factor. So greatest common factor is what? As far as 2's are concerned, we have 3 of them as common, right? This could be written as 2 cubed times 2, right? So basically, we have 2 cubed, or you can say 8. These 3 are common, right? And to find the LCM, what do we do? To find LCM, we multiply GCF which are common factors with the remaining. So GCF times remaining. Remaining factors. And so we get 8 times what all are remaining. Let's circle. So we have 1, 3 remaining here. And here we have a 2 remaining. So we'll do times 3 times 2. And we get our answer. 6 times 8 is 48. So do you see how easily we got our answer of least common multiple, especially using this particular property? So we can write down the answer as greatest common factor is 8 and the least common multiple is 48. We'll look into it once again with another example. So this time, what I've done here is I have written factors. And now the question is kind of interesting. It says prime factorization of numbers A and B are given below. We don't know the numbers, but we know the factors. That's the beauty. The question here is find the number. First question is find the number. The second question here is find the greatest common factor and then the LCM. Finding numbers is kind of simpler since we need to just multiply these numbers, right? So it is 2 to the power of 3 is like 2 times 2 times 2 
times 3 to the power of 2 is 9 times 25 times 7 definitely a very big number to to multiply right so so we can use a calculator but purposely i took 25 so that it becomes easier for you but still i will use calculator at this stage so we have 8 times 9 times 25 times 7 to get the number which is 1 to 600 extremely big number right so we multiplied these three 8 9 25 and 7 5 squared is 25 3 squared is 3 times 3 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 right so we got number a which is that big and how about b 2 square means 4 3 cube means 27 times 5 so 5 times 4 is 20 you can double this number 540 perfect or use calculator so remember now we are working with extremely large numbers perfect and see how effective this method of prime factorization is right we have found the numbers that is the part which you have already done numbers a and b are given to us now we need to find the greatest common factor how do you find the greatest common factor let's look into the powers as far as two powers are concerned the common is two square as far as three powers are concerned common is three square as far as five powers are concerned the number five itself and no other thing is common so basically we get four times three square is nine times five as our gcf nine times four uh, i mean we should multiply four and five first 20 and double of nine is 180. now how do you find the lcm this is a very tricky part now let's look into it a slightly bigger picture so that you understand all the concepts when I was saying a is 2 cubed, that means 2 times 2 times 2. And then we mean 3 square means 3 times 3, and then 5 square, and then 7. As far as the number b is concerned, we said it is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. And then we identified the common factors, and these were the common factors so these factors gave result to lc gcf greatest common factor right you multiplied all of them now to find lcm what do we do we multiply gcf with the remaining right so the remaining numbers are in the first list the remaining numbers are 2 and then we have this is remaining and then 7 is remaining and also that 5 is remaining in the other list the remaining numbers are 3 and 3 so we have to multiply this by 2 3 5 7 so we'll do times 2 3 5 7 and 3 3 and 3 and 3 do you get the idea so we get our LCM, let me write here itself, as equal to product of all this, which is GCF is equal to 180. So we'll multiply 180 by all these numbers. So we have 180 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 3 times 3. And the number for us is a huge number, which is 34. 0 200 do you see that so with the help of prime factorization we could actually solve a very difficult question extremely large numbers as you can see so the whole idea here is list all the prime factors in the form of prime factorization which is multiply the prime numbers to give you the number itself identify the common numbers to get gcf once you get gcf identify the numbers which were not common multiply them with gcf to get lcm and that is how you get lcm
perfect i hope this concept is clear to you now i will introduce you to venn diagrams which makes it even more simpler and see the beauty of this in venn diagrams we actually first step is kind of similar we'll still find the factors so the question now is find gcf and lcm for 18 and 12. so first step is same we'll find factors of 18 so which is 2 times 9 and then 3 times 3. as far as 12 is concerned we have 2 times 6 and then we have 2 times 3. now we have all these factors three of each now we have to list the common factors so we see that 2 and 2 is common and 3 and 3 is common the common factors are written right in the center which is common to these two so we can write the numbers 2 and 3 if this part here the green one is 18 for us right and this is the number 12. now what remains is a number 3 which remains for us as far as 18 is concerned so i'll write this number 3 here as far as the 12 is concerned we are left with number 2 so i'll write the number 2 there does make sense to you clearly from here we can say 18 is what 18 is equal to product of these three right three times three times two as far as 12 is concerned it is the product of 2, 2, and 3, which is 2 times 2 times 3, which is the same result as we have listed here. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now see how easy it is to find greatest common factor. Greatest common factor is right there before you. I think you can read it. This is your greatest common factor. Correct? So 2 times 3, when you multiply, you get 6. And what is LCM? LCM is product of all these numbers. So the numbers which were not multiplied will be now multiplied. So these two, right? These two. So what we get here is 6 times 3 times 2, right? So 6 times 6 is 36, which becomes the least common multiple. Now, how are you going to check your result? This is kind of important. How do you check your result? Well, to check the result, we have to see that 36 should be evenly divided by both, right? So, we do 36 divided by the first number, 18, we get 2. And when we divide 36 by 12, we get 3. So, it is evenly divided and therefore, we are sure that this is the right answer for lowest common multiple. Does make sense to you, right? So now I think you've got an idea how we could do the reverse calculation. If I give you the LCM and GCF, you could write it in the Venn diagram as I've shown and do the reverse calculation. Perfect. Are you ready for that? Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll take one more example of Venn diagram and then we'll see. Okay. So this time we have to find GCF, which is HCF also, and LCM for 15, 24, and 30. So what is the process? Well, prime factorization of 15, which is 3 times 5, and then we'll take prime factorization of the number 24, which is 2 times 12, 2 times 6, 2 times 3. And then Let's take another ink for 30. For 30, it is, let's write 3 times 10, 2 times 5. So we got all our numbers. So let's write down these numbers here. So I'll write 30 first in this color, 3 times 2 times 5. And then we'll change the color to 24, which is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 and then to green for 15 and what we get here is 3 times 5. You can always confirm 3 times 5 is 15, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 24, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30. So it works. Now to find the common factors, 
let's figure out which are common well only three is common amongst all of them and so we'll write this number three into a group which is common so which one is common here well the group where all the three colors meet is right there does it make sense to you perfect let's write down the numbers also the green is for the number 15 for us and uh, oh, we have we don't have those colors but we can take this as 24 and this as 30 okay so those are our numbers now let's look into the missing numbers as far as 15 is concerned 15 has a 5 right 15 has a 5 and 5 is also there in 30 so 5 is common in 15 and 30 so I could write this 5 here correct so I have taken care of the number 5 which I have written right there which is common between 15 and 30 it is not a factor of 24 we have taken care of both the numbers in case of 15 now in 30 we have a 2 which could be common with 24 so we'll write 2 in this group so we have taken care of 2 from both the groups correct now two twos are left for 24 so i'll write these two twos here so that is how we get our venn diagram have a close look at it does it make sense to you if you see the green circle we have the two numbers there three and five when you multiply you get 15 the blue circle has three numbers five times two is 10 10 times three is 30 and the yellow circle has got four numbers 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24. So we got all these three covered. Perfect. Now from here, can you tell me what is the greatest common factor and what is the LCM? Let's write down. So greatest common factor or HCF, one of the same thing, is 3. The number which is right in the center common to all that is common to all and if you want to find the lcm multiple then you have to write three and then all of the numbers which are what do you see two times two times two times five eight times five is 40 when you multiply 40 by three you get 120 so the lcm is 120 can you check the result to check means, is it a multiple of all these numbers? Perfect. That is what the check is. And yes, it is. How can you get 120? You can get 120 by multiplying 15 by 4, right? You can get 120 by multiplying 24 by... It's difficult, right? So what you could do here is... 120 is all these numbers so the number which is not outside which is outside this is 5 do you see that 5 so try this out so times 5 does give you 120 it does right similarly we could multiply 30 by 4 to get our result so we see that this is indeed the lowest common multiple so you have also learned a technique of checking your result the lowest common multiple is always evenly divisible by the numbers. So here is our first challenge question. I'd like you to pause the video now, answer this particular question since you now understand all the concepts. Question is, find two sets, important, two sets of numbers whose LCM is 48. So we are given LCM as 48. And HCF, the greatest common factor, is 8. So what could be the two numbers, right? That is the whole thing. Now, how do we do the reverse calculation? Let's think about the reverse calculation now. You can think like this. How do I get 48 from 8? 
we know 8 times 6 is 48. Is that clear? 8 times 6 is 48. We know 8 is the HCF. We are given this. If you are thinking about the two circles, the Venn diagrams, then in that case, your Venn diagrams could be something like this. 8 means 2 times 2 times 2. That comes here. Now, there are two numbers we are given. Which are these two numbers? We have to figure out these two numbers. Well, we are left with 1, 6 here. 6 could be split into 2 and 3. So, you could write 2 on one side, 3 on the other side. Once you do that, you have your numbers. 8 times 2 is 16 and 8 times 3 is 48. So one of the answers here is the numbers are 16 and 48. Is that clear to you? Well, you could have done it some other way also. Let's think about it. Here is another combination. So it's a different set of numbers with us. So we have two different circles, but we know something. 2 is common, but well, we know that 6 could also be written in a different way. You could write 6 as 1 times 6. So I could have a number 1 here and 6 here. In that case, my numbers are 8, 2 times 1 and 48. 6 times 8. So another combination could be that the two numbers are 8 and 48. Do you get the idea? Both are correct answers. Both are correct answers and that is how you can find it. Did you get it? Perfect. Now, let's make this thing simpler with three numbers. Okay. The question here is three whole numbers have their LCM as 180. Okay, so we have LCM as 180 and HCF, highest common factor or GCF, is 3. Two of the numbers are 45 and 60. So we are actually given two numbers also. So two numbers are 45 and 60. The third one is not known. Find the third number. That is the question for you. Can you do it? So you can pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, so let's assume that these numbers, which are 45 and 60, are these. This is 45 for us, and let's take this number as 60. And what we really know about is that the highest common, which is common to all, is the number 3 itself. So we'll write 3 here. Now total is 180. Now, the idea is 3 times what is equal to 180? This is what we have to figure out. Well, divide 180 by 3. So, we get 3 times 6, 0. Correct. So, we got this number 60 here. Now, how do I split 60 to get my third number? That is the whole idea, right? We already know that there are numbers which are 60 and 45 right 60 and 45 so our factors of 60 is the maximum so that means everything is common correct everything is common right there so we have to look into prime factors of 60 so let's look into the prime factors of 60 now so i'll do it on the side here for 60 prime factors are we have got 2 times 30 this is 2 times 15. This is 3 times 5. So we have these combinations 2, 2, 3, 5. I have to get 45 also. 45 is what? 45 can be written as 3 times what? 3 times, if I divide 45 by 3, I get 3 times, 3 times 1 and 15. So 3 times 15, so I have to get 15 here. I could get 15 provided I make a combination which is something like this. 
So I'll write 5 times 3 common. So I get 45. Do you see that? Now what is left? 2 and 2. So if 2 and 2 is left, I can write this 2 and 2 as something like this. Or I have an option. I can write both the 2's here. So I have many options, right? So I'll give you two combinations. So I'm taking 3 as a common number here. And rest of the numbers, I'm filling it like this. 5 and 3. Perfect. So, so I get 60 here. I get 45. And what is this number? Well, it is 4 times 3, which is 12. And in this case, it is 3 times 2, which is 6. So I have two answers here. Is it making sense to you? So answers here are, the numbers are 45, 60, and 6, or they are 45, 60, and 12. Both will work for you. Did you see how we got it? Let's go back to our calculations. We were given that the two numbers are 45 and 60. We were given that the highest common factor is 3, so we marked this right there in the center. And since 3 times 60 is 180, we know we don't have any additional number. So 60, this side, everything has to be covered in the block of 60. And we found the factors for 60 and distribute it in two different ways. Both are giving us the same result and therefore both are the correct answers. It does make sense to you. Have a good look at it, right? And then here's a bonus question. What I did was I this time distributed the numbers. Correct? And the question for you is calculate their HCF and LCM. This is what you have to calculate. How are you going to do it? That's not very difficult. But the first part is find the three numbers whose prime factors are represented in the Venn diagram. So there are two parts to this question. So that is part one and this is your part two. I would like you to pause the video, answer this question, write it in the comments and then check with my solution. Okay. So let's see how are we going to solve it. We'll start from inside out. We know this is common. So the greatest common factor is known to us and which is, you can write highest common factor also, it doesn't matter, same thing, is 2. And the three numbers are, you can just multiply these and get your result. So the three numbers you could get as, so in the green circle, let's go with blue circle first, we get 3 times 2 as 6, 6 times 7 is 42. The number here is 2 times 4, 4 times 5 is 20. And the number, which is this number, is 5, 5 and 3, 25 times 3 is 75. So these are your numbers. Now, can you tell me what is LCM? So definitely it is 2 times something. Multiply all these numbers. 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 3 times 7. That should give you the answer. Correct? So it's an easy calculation. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 5 is 10. That gives you 100. Right? So we are taking care. 7 times 3 is 21. So I think 2100 should be the right answer. I hope that makes sense. So we come to an end with this bonus question. I hope you have understood the concept. If there is any difficulty, feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. And keep posting your questions just as this one, which came from someone, right? Thanks a lot for your contributions. Thank you.